Alert forecast. Today is a first alert weather day for our messy weather system shaping up, bringing us slushy wet snow showers and rain showers across the region. And behind that, several more first alert weather days for Sunday, Monday, and now issued again for Tuesday for single digit high temperatures. Wind chills looking to be double digit negatives, and it looks to be all around very cold. But that's all in association with the system we have going on today, which really goes to show more of the Arctic punch that it's putting in behind it. For today, we have winter weather advisories in place, including the city of Fort Wayne and Allen County, down to the south, Huntington and Wabash counties, up to the north, stretching through all the way to the Michigan border and northwest Ohio, including Paulding County as well. This weather system is still off to our west and taking a look at radar right now just to kind of analyze this system and use less model data and more now data as to what's going on. You can see that a lot of the snow shower activity right now kind of centered in northwest Indiana into Lafayette. A lot of what you're seeing on your screen, albeit heavy snow showers at times, is still not reaching the ground or in some cases it's melting on contact. So we still have no accumulation, even though in some places like Lafayette, it has been falling for the past two hours, which is a good sign for us. It means that as this finally does move into our area, we likely won't be dealing with immediate impacts from this system. However, something else that I'm keeping an eye on is really the overall front itself because the severe weather aspect of this system to the far south has helped to progress the front. And because of that, we could cut off with a little bit of this moisture. We'll likely start to reattach with some of this moisture to the south and move in with colder air up to the north. But I think what this could mean for us here at home is a delayed start for this system and it could mean that we could get a few hours of drier air working in. We still will get messy weather, but nonetheless for the early morning commute, I think we should be in fine shape. In fact, we really don't really pick up with things until closer to the early part of the afternoon and afternoon. At this point, when it goes into the afternoon and evening, we deal with periods of slushy wet snow showers, even though temperatures at this point are likely above freezing. We have a really dynamic system to work with and a lot of elements like dynamic cooling and seeing a lot of that snow push from the upper levels. So yes, things will likely be sloppy during this time period. Then as we go into the later part of the afternoon and evening, we'll see a little bit more rain start to pick in just to the south. And this is where winds really start to pick up in this time frame. Late tonight into early tomorrow morning, we get more of a dry break. Tomorrow dealing with a few scattered light snow showers, but the snow potential for tomorrow doesn't look to be too much. So yes, right now we are hovering right around freezing. We will likely break freezing later today, but that is just the surface and we still have a lot of atmosphere to consider besides just that. As for winds later today, during the daytime hours, we should be fine. However, late tonight into tomorrow, these are where things really pick up. We're talking 40 to 50 mile per hour wind gusts. So if you have loose outdoor items, bring them inside this morning or this afternoon because you might regret it by early tomorrow morning. Again, behind this, things are getting really cold. We're talking double digit negative wind chills Sunday, Monday and Tuesday. That's why Tuesday has also been added as a first alert weather day. We try to ease up with that Arctic pattern Wednesday into Thursday as we go back into the teens which at that point seems a lot warmer compared to the single digits and sub-zero lows. Right, and I know so many people, obviously, they've been keeping an eye on how low we will get, but as you mentioned, Liz, you know, there's really a lot to keep an eye on these next few days. Yeah, and something to consider when it comes to the cold, too, is the amount of snow we have, the snow packed, can sometimes impact temperatures for the next few days. If we have more on the ground, it helps keep us a little bit cooler versus if we have less, it can help us warm up by about a degree or two, which could be the difference between negative numbers or sitting at zero. Okay, it depends on, you know, what you prefer, the cold or the snow. Yeah. Right, yeah. <laughs> okay, Liz, thank you so much. Re